What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome. I'm your host, Andrew 26101 Show. Also known as, you know, being on the second channel in Sir Coin. This is my gaming channel, but unfortunately for my original channel, I cannot do any live streaming, so I'm doing this live streaming right now. I'm going to upload it on my new channel. I want to give a shout out to those of y'all who are up so late on this late talk show. It's 1.17 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, Thursday. March 26, 2020. Join me, ladies and gentlemen. For my drinkers, some of my gamers, my weed smokers, thank you all for joining as we quarantine through these weeks. Hopefully, the President of the United States can come up with a stimulus package so that way we can take care of our bills and our rent because, God damn it, we're going to be some pissed off Americans in this bitch. We got to get things sorted out, man. Thank you all for joining, man. All two of you motherfuckers. <laughs> Usually I'll have this live popping, man. I usually have like 20, 30 people live, but this is my new streaming. This is my gaming channel. Those, those of y'all who are new, go ahead and just hit that subscribe button. Let me know what you guys think of the, I kind of mix a little bit of comedy, a little bit of game in the mix. So, you know, doing a little something different, you know, give people something to laugh. You know, this is when I was, you know, getting real good at the game. So I started you know, editing and all that other good stuff. But anyways, we got to talk about this chick, man. Okay, the title reads for itself. I left my girlfriend in tears after I got a train ran on her. Now she blames me. It's my fault. We gotta talk about relationship, ladies and gentlemen. But you know, and particularly to my fellas, man. I'm gonna go ahead and get to the calls in just a moment too. I mean. I want to go ahead and see if my box chat is working, man. You guys go ahead and type something. Say something. Jesus, let me know that you guys are alive. Everybody's dead in here. Pass my video around, man. Let's get this shit live. Let me put live. Live. There we go. All right, my shit is working. Good. I thought my, my joint wasn't working anyways. So, how's everybody's night doing, by the way, before I do get into this video? And how's everybody doing? Where are you guys from? Anybody? Okay. All right. Well, all right. You guys want to stay quiet? No problem. A chick breaks down in tears after getting train ran on her and she blames her ex-boyfriend. Now, listen, man. What's going on, doll? I'm, I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and open up the lines. But after I do open up, let me see if I can get the lines open, man. So that way you guys can call in because I wouldn't mind if you guys call into the show. Let me see if I can get the lines open. Give me one second, guys, because we got to talk about this. You know, most of my YouTube followers are men. So I guess we could all kind of relate to this when it comes down to relationships with women. It's a good topic in hand, you know. Do you guys ever feel, you know, I was thinking about doing this video, too. I don't know if you guys ever experienced this when it comes down to women. Now, I don't really get much women approaching me. Most women don't like to approach men for the most part. But I'm going to tell you this, right? For some crazy reason, my luck with beautiful single women never seems to happen. Like, I don't get beautiful single women looking at me. But I do get the ones that are taken and the ones that are married. I don't get that. Like, has that ever happened to you guys? Like, I don't know what it is, but it's, it just seems like it's so easy to attract women. Or maybe just women who are in relationships just seem more happier. And more approachable than women who are single. It seems like all the bad bitches who are single, like the hardest ones to talk to. Is it just me? Do you guys do you guys experience that shit? It just seems like the, all the bad looking women don't want to talk. They be acting like they're taken. And all the ones that are taken act like they're single. 
I don't get this shit. I mean, do you guys? I mean, shit don't make no sense to me. It's crazy. Let me see if I can get the phone lines on here. Shout out to everybody that's in the building, man. Shout out to my fam, gang, gang. Shout out to Terrence. I see you. Shout out to Daryl. Anybody else in the building, man? Let me go ahead and see if I can fix this camera here. You guys can hear me loud and clear, right? Hopefully you can. All right. Yeah, let me go ahead and get more in the middle and shit. There we go. All right. Actually, I kind of fucked up here. All right. There we go. Oh. Let's see if I can go ahead and get the lines up here, man. Shout out to everybody. How's everybody doing on this quarantine night? I know your asses have been locked inside the doors for so long. Don't you hate it? I feel like I'm a prisoner. I wonder how jail feels. This is kind of like home jail. You know, they do, they, you know, people have home jails where they just sit back, but it's kind of cool in a way, but not really. Not when you have bills and you got things to pay take care of, you know what I mean? So it's kind of like waiting on a stimulus package here, Donald Trump. See, you need to hurry up, man. It's, it's almost getting to three weeks now, you know? You know, you know when you kind of, you know, every two weeks when you're waiting for that paycheck, and it's like, God damn it, I don't got care, I got it. You get pissed off. Damn, I need my money. But anyways, man, shout out to everybody that's in the building, man. We all in the same mother-loving boat here, man. Let me see if I can go ahead and get the numbers up here, man. Give me a second, folks. Here we go. Here we go. All right, so I'm going to get to the lines in just a second. I just want to see if I can get more people on here because I'm going to go ahead and play this video so you guys could get a better understanding of this female, all right? I left my girlfriend in tears after getting a tran rain on her ass. She got her ass tossed wide open. Freaky deaky doggy style. Ooh wee. Now she mad cause her ass blown out. She got her back blown out. Bunch of mandingos. And pink lollipops and chocolate flavors. Asian persuasions everybody was tapping that ass. Shout out to my dogs in the building. <laughs> Alright, I'll see y'all, man. Alright, let me just go ahead and get this, man. Hopefully we get some more people on the, on the chat. Oh, give me a second. How's everybody feeling tonight? Everybody's good? You know, I saw the craziest thing. I saw the craziest thing, guys, on Facebook. Now, it was with Little Boosie. Little Boosie has two girls eating each other out while they're quarantined, right? And he's saying, do it. Do it for Bobby Schmurder. Do it for them niggas in pen. Do it for Bobby Schmurder. So I say to myself, I'm like, What? He got two girls on IG Live eating each other out live. He said, I want y'all to eat each other out. And they started doing that shit. I have a hard time getting me a bad chick to swallow the ding dong. This guy's got two girls, two, far, two girls that he doesn't even know. Regular chicks. And they started playing in the kitty litter. I don't get it. So I say to myself, well, do I feel sorry for these hoes? No. Take responsibility into your own actions. You can't get mad because the ding dong was probably whack. You can't get mad because he grabbed your hair and your hair fell out. You can't get mad because he slapped that ass and he left that handprint right on your ass you can't get mad cause he bust in your eye and you can't see the next day that's not his fault that's yours you decide to do the nasty not him can I get an amen cause we gotta be truthful here folks if you're really trying to talk to women right Nine times out of ten, 
It's her decision if she wants to get down and dirty. But when things don't work out, it's like somehow it's your fault. Or even when she does the most dirtiest, filthiest shit in the world, she blames you. You did this to me. It's your fault. What? And this is why, you know, I'm not saying all men are innocent. I'm not saying that at all. But I kind of see the consequences and repercussions that most men go through, especially in this day of age where we have high-blown feminism and everybody wants to point the fingers at you and say you're the bad guy. You're the man, so you're in fault. Come on, man. We got to stop. Women, you got to stop with these behaviors. You got to stop blaming men for the nasty shit that you do. You chose to do this. So if he busts in your eye, you can't see. Arr, 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 arr. And you're looking like a pirate. Arr, arr, milady. Arr, 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 arr. That's not his fault. It's yours. You decided to go that route. Can I get an amen? just saying shout out to all my players and my cats in the building can i get an amen we got four people live man pass this video around because we got to talk about this fellas we got to talk about this man and women if you're live too we got to talk about this man women you got to correct some of your friends that's doing this shit you can't get raw dog smash doggy style and the next minute you want to blame the man when you participated in the extracurricular activities. I mean, it so happens that you stayed after school for a little bit of a detention. Come on, man. Shout out to Terrence in the building, man. Shout out to everybody that's in the building. We got four people, man. Let's get, let's get more people, man. I'm trying to get like 10 people, man. I'm, I'm just getting started, man. Man, pass my videos around, man. Come on. We got to get this, man. We got we to gotta get this. Hey, man. Put my video on social media, on chat sites, man. This is a game channel, but my other channels usually when I talk about these discussions, but unfortunately, I gotta be on here and do live stream because YouTube has got their panties in a bunch and I can't wait to get my strikes off so I can go ham in this bitch. Shout out to everybody out there, man. I love every single one of you, man. Let's get this, man. Let's go. All right, let's see here. Give me a second. Okay, so we just stuck on four, man. This this is crazy, man. We got to get more people than that. How we just stuck on four, bitches? Come on, man. Let's get some females in here, too. I want their opinions. I would love to get women's perspectives of what they think about this smash, glorious, glorious, beautiful, rotundous Asian woman. Look at her lips. Look at the size of that whopper. Good God, yo, mate. And the size of the nostrils. Her big, wide mouth there, mate, is about the size of a big crocodile. Look at the size of that whopper. Her mouth looks like it can swallow you whole. If you be very, very quiet, I will tell you something. You know, let's imagine they had an African crocodile hunter, like... <laughs> Imagine this motherfucker African crocodile back. Let me tell you something, okay? The mouth is really big. And it can kill you in an instant. You have to put two kangaroo and a couple of bananas. And she'll be okay in the morning. Can I get a man? All right, enough of the jokes, man. Let's go ahead and get to this video, man. Shout out to everybody that's in the building, man. Shout out to my fam gang, 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 gang. Thank you all. Let's go ahead and get into this video. And I'm going to go ahead and take your calls afterwards because I want to, you know, kind of get your guys' opinions on what you think of this subject and matter. Let me see if I could uh, get her on the chat screen here. Give me one second. Uh, okay. That is, that's not that's not good. Okay. Let's see if we, what we could do. Can we get her on the screen? Hold on, folks. Just, just bear with me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get her. Okay, okay. Let me see. What is this? Why is this over here? It'll be just a second, guys. Hold on. Oh, motherfucker. Okay. Oh, that's why. Okay. All right. All right. So 
here we go folks now we got it let's get into play now this chick right here actually you know what let's go ahead and see if we could fix this i don't want to make it this big because it kind of looks kind of ridiculous a little bit kind of corny so let's let's kind of bring you up a little bit and bring you over here so that way i can see the fans when they write in this shit hopefully you guys guys make your commentary too man i want to hear what you guys gotta say what you guys think about this subject and matter but let me see if i can make this a little bit bigger okay how does this look better boom yeah here we go all right so i'm gonna play this video i want you guys to absorb take and heed to the ladies words of wisdom and logic <laughs> just listen listen this is what she has to say and then there's another video that comes in afterwards so you know i want i, I kind of want to get you guys perspective but let's go ahead and play this and uh yeah let me know what you think I already have to deal with that for the rest of my life that I got trained. I already know that. You guys making it seem like that I don't know that, that it, that, that it didn't happen. I can't change that. I can't do nothing. So why are you guys going to sit there and keep on bringing that up? That's what I want to know. Why are you guys going to sit there and keep on bringing that up like that's a joke? Like if that's... Okay, hold up. I got to rewind this a little bit because I'm a little bit confused. Okay, what in the world is she talking about? Because I'm trying to get the grips of this. Uh, this is the first time I'm actually listening to this, folks. So, please, you know, I may come off a little bit slow at times. You know, this is the merry one. But listen, though, I'm just trying to really get the grasp of what she's talking about. So that way, I can get a better understanding what the hell she's talking about. I, I think I said that twice, didn't I? All right, come on. I already have to deal with that for the rest of my life that I got trained. I already know that. You guys making it seem like that I don't know that, that it, that, that it didn't happen. I can't change that. I can't do nothing. So why are you guys going to sit there and keep on bringing that up? That's what I want to know. Why are you guys going to sit there and keep... Okay. She's obviously complaining about getting trained on. Getting ragged on. Getting donkey for getting mandingo style getting. Ah, uh, what's the word? Uh, what's another one? Uh, darn it, darn it, darn it. What's the one that uh, all the guys come and they just bust in a girl's face? Ugh, like they just let off. You know, you go to Pornhub, they go like a whole bunch of gang bangs and shit, I guess. I guess the girl, like, I guess the, the new age kids, they call it train and shit. I don't know, man. Whatever, man. But I don't know about y'all, man. But I got to really take in heed of this, man. First of all, are these even real? To deal with that for the rest of my life that I got trained. I already know that. You guys making this seem. She looks like she got plastic lips on her, man. You ever see those Fisher Price? Those Mr. Potato Head. Remember Mr. Potato Head? When Mr. Potato Head had those big ass lips and you, you know, slap it in the, right in the motherfucker's face and shit. She looked like she got Mr. Potato Head lips, man. Come on, man. This is crazy. Seem like that I don't know that that it that, that it didn't happen. I can't change that. I can't do nothing. So why are you guys gonna sit there and keep on bringing that up? That's what I want to know. Why are you guys gonna sit there and keep on bringing that up? Like that's a joke. Like if that's funny. Like you guys think that's funny for a whole female to get trained? You now she's trying to practice the feminist laws and attraction and say, you know what? You guys think it's funny. For a chick to get trained on? You think it's funny? I'm a female. I'm a female. Bitch, you weren't thinking about being a female when you had a whole bunch of dicks creaming all over your face. Were you that? You weren't such a no. You were a dirty little whore. Can I get an amen? Can I get an amen? Can I get an amen? She's a dirty little whore. It's not be me being disrespectful, man. I can't be disrespectful, man. I just gotta tell the truth, man. Shout out to Black Sheep for the subscription, man. Shout out, my brother. Shout out to, shout out to you. Shout out to, shout out to everybody, man. Shout out to my white brothers. Shout out to my black brothers. Shout out to everybody, man. I like, I, I love all of y'all, motherfuckers, man. Y'all my dogs, man. And females out there, I love you, ladies too. The ones that just keep it motherfucking real, keep it funky, man. Y'all gotta keep it real, man. Come on, man. Not all of y'all. Not all of y'all gonna make it to the gates. Some of y'all gonna... You know, it's, it's hot down there.
Come on, man. Get it together, ladies. This shit is crazy, man. Let's go. You guys think that's funny? Still hurt over the fact that my ex-boyfriend will never understand how bad he hurt me. And literally, like, you guys don't understand who... So wait a minute. It's the ex-boyfriend's fault? Wait. Hold up. You blaming your ex-boyfriend for making him run trains on you with other dudes. <laughs> what? <laughs> your ex-boyfriend is a pimp. Can I get an amen? Come on, man. How you gonna blame? How you go? Fellas. Women. Logical women. Logical men. She blamed her ex-boyfriend for having her run a train. Does this make any sense? How can you blame your ex-boyfriend for activities you were involved with? This kind of reminds me of 6 9 You know, 6 9 want to do crimes and shit. Next minute, he want to snitch on everybody. He did it, he did it, he did it, he was in the... People were putting out hits for your motherfucking ass, you rainbow-color-looking motherfucker. And you snitch. This is what this girl is doing right now. You was part of a gang bang. Bang bang, bitch, bang bang. You was car you was part of the cartel gang bang. Oh, you was part of the Mandingo bang bang gang bang. Oh, you was part of the Protect the Army, you know, Pig Dicks Association bang gang bang. You was probably part of the Asian persuasion, you know, bang bang bang. Who knows what you was a part of, but all we know is that you got bang, bang, bang. Can I get a hate man? <laughs> Listen, man. This is the truth. The truth of the matter is you can't blame your ex-boyfriend for participating in activities. Come on, man. Let's keep on playing, man. Shout out to everybody that's in the room, man. Man, write your comments down, man. Get the, get them get them thumbs up, man. Subscribe to the channel, you know. Subscribe to the Andrew Two Six One Zero One Show, which this video is gonna be uploaded. Shit, it's probably uploaded right now. You're probably watching it right now through that channel, or, you know, subscribe to my gaming channel too, cause I got some good content. I'm gonna do some little comedy sketches, some crazy shit with video games, make you like, oh my god, what the fuck? Did he actually did that? Yes, I did with that mod chip, baby. I'm shooting these. They were getting pissed off at me. I love it. I love it. Sometimes they gotta be a cheater. They gotta a. Anyways, man, let me just go ahead and start this over because I know I was being very comical and just, just talking my shit and also talking some logic. But we gotta be real, folks, man. Look, good God, look at that size of that wall bar. To deal with that for the rest of my life that I got trained, I already know that. You guys making it seem like. That I don't know that, that, it, that, that we have, that I can't change that, I can't do nothing, so why are you guys going to sit there and keep on bringing that up, that's what I want to know, why are you guys going to sit there and keep on bringing that up like that's a joke, like if that's funny, like you guys think that's funny for- Okay, hold on, I fucked up guys, my bad, I had the, I actually had the desktop, the desktop shit off. So I'm going to go ahead and rewind that so that way you guys can actually hear it more, okay? I know I've been talking a lot of shit, and I'm sorry. I'm going to go ahead and play this all over so that way you can guys enjoy the beautiful commentary. But I just had to point out the differences of what's wrong with this stupid, crazy little bitch. She doesn't make any sense, man. I just had to point out my differences. I had to put in my two cents in this bitch. And I did. Good God, look at them lips. Mr. Potato Lips. Good God. I already have to deal with that for the rest of my life that I got trained. I already know that. You guys making it seem like that I don't know that, that it, that, that it didn't happen. I can't change that. I can't do nothing. So why are you guys going to sit there and keep on bringing that up? That's what I want to know. Why are you guys going to sit there and keep on bringing that up like that's a joke? Like if that's funny? Like you guys think that's funny for a whole female to get trained? You guys think that's funny? 
still hurt over the fact that my ex-boyfriend will never understand how bad he hurt me. And literally, like, you guys don't understand who I am really inside. This shit hurts. Like, I sat there, dog, and, like, I went and I, like, I did. I really... like my bad oh i'm fucking up all right all right you know what my bad thank you brother i'm gonna go ahead and rewind this shit back y'all can hear me now right y'all should be able to hear me now i fucked up i fucked up in the game let me go ahead and redo this again man fuck talking too much with that for the rest of my anyways i said this bitch got a mr potato head lips slap onto that motherfucker look at this she talk about oh it hurts so bad you know guys don't understand the penetration that i had in my asshole the penetration that I had in my asshole, the shit hurt. <laughs> you don't understand these guys. You don't understand these guys. You don't understand. You don't understand. These niggas don't tore my ass. You don't understand. You don't know that. Who ran the bullet at me? Who grabbed the bullet at me? Who ripping on them jeans? You don't know that, nigga. You don't know that, nigga. Yeah, old school dudes. Oh, come on, man. You gotta know Trick Daddy. Trick Daddy, you don't know that, nigga. You can hear me now, right? I know my shit is not muted. You muted, I can't hear you. Yeah, you can. You can hear me right now, man. Stop playing. You don't know that, nigga. Nope, nope. You don't know that, nigga. Look at her lips. Good God, man. This chick look like she could put a whole sink in them lips, boy. Take the whole <laughs> Spit it right out. Ew, you nasty girl. You nasty. Life that I got trained. I already know that. You guys making it seem like that I don't know that. That it that, that it didn't happen. I can't change that. I can't do nothing. So why are you guys gonna sit there and keep on bringing that up? That's what I want to know. She got some good dick sucking lips, doesn't she? Oh my god. Look at them. Ooh, she got the blow up doll lid. Look at her cheekbone, boy. That throat. That throat looks like, ooh, deep sea under. What you know about that, boy? She look like she give you that, that straight, that straight sex doll head, boy. That's a sex doll head. I know I'm so nasty right now tonight. I don't give a fuck. I'm home. Quarantine, bitch. Why are you guys gonna sit there and keep on bringing that up like that's a joke? Like if that's funny? Like you guys think that's funny for a whole female to get trained? You guys think that's funny? Still hurt over the fact that my ex-boyfriend will never understand how bad he hurt me. And literally, like you guys don't understand who I am really inside. This shit hurts. Oh, she said really inside. This shit hurts. I bet it did. Good God, those mandingos hurt. You know, God, don't understand how much it hurts. It really hurts. Like, I sat there, dog, and, like, I went and I, like, I did. I really, like, I don't know. <laughs> you you guys don't understand how much dick I, I don't take in my ass. <laughs> it fucking hurts. Okay, I got trained, and what? And what? And what? Well, you think that's gonna hurt me? Oh my god, look, I'm crying. Oh my god, I'm crying. And you know what? And they loved it too. They love this fucking pussy. They love this pussy that they fucking sparked me up and bought me food right after. Whoa, bitch. So you love this pussy. They love this pussy. First, you was crying. You were crying. Weren't you just crying there, bitch? What you hiding, bitch? You was <laughs> you don't understand. These motherfuckers read my asshole. You was crying. No, and and nigga what? And they love this good pussy. Mhm. Mm they love their good pussy. And what, bitch? And what, bitch? And what, bitch? So what? I'm a hoe. I'm a hoe.
I'm a hoe, but guess what? The nigga's leg when I suck his dick though. How about that, bitch? Can you do better? We gotta do better, folks. This is fucking crazy, man. Come on, man. You guys watching the Andrew 26101 show, man. This shit is crazy, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. I'll let y'all hear this one more time, man. I'm, we gonna get to the phone calls in just a minute, man. I'm gonna let y'all hear this one more time. I'm gonna get to the phone calls in just a minute. Because I would love to hear what you guys gotta say. This shit is crazy. And who I am really inside this shit hurts. Like, I Okay, so we already heard the facial expressions, man. I gotta see the body language so I could tell you. The, the facial expression. I know I was joking before with her big ass motherfucking sex doll lips but i'm just saying good god she looked like she could sink a goddamn anaconda she looked like she could take a gallon of milk she literally she looks like she looked like she could take a bottle of corona oh no we shouldn't be talking about that no no not today no x out the corona she looked like she could take a bottle of budweiser take it all the way to the back of the throat and pull it back out like I sat there, dog, and, like, I went and I, like, I did, I did, like, I don't know. Okay, I got trained, and what? And what? And what? Well, you think that's gonna hurt me? Oh, my God, look, I'm crying. And you know she hurt, though, really and truly. Because she made two videos about the same shit. <laughs> Yo, she made two videos about the same shit, bro. Like... If it didn't hurt you the first time, why are you making a second video? <laughs> Just saying. It should And what, bitch? And what? I don't care. I'll be a hoe. I don't care. But he like when I suck that dick, though. Good job. Oh, my God. I'm crying. And you know what? And they loved it, too. They love this fucking pussy. Ooh. They love this pussy that they fucking sparked me up and bought me food right after. Ooh, so you sold pussy for the... Panda Express. For the Panda Express. Can I get an amen? For the Panda Express. Shout out to Daryl. She did it for the Panda Express. be the name of the song shout out to daryl you're gonna be my executive producer that's the name of the b panda express all right man i know for this shit i need to get to the phone calls man i want to know what you guys think man because listen if i open up the phone calls would y'all mother effers really call man come on man all right let's get to the phone calls man number six four six six five three four six four eight you could ask me any questions it doesn't matter could be related to traveling could be about this chick I don't really care. It could be about anything. All right? I don't care. But if it's a dumbass answer, you go to get a dumbass question. Or maybe a dumbass question. And you get a dumbass answer. Oh my God. Isn't that a dumbass? Anyways. Y'all know the, the number 646-653-4648. Number 646-653-4648. Call in, man. Your boy's bored. Let me see if I got anybody on here, man. Y'all y'all acting scary right now. Scary spice. I'm trying to see if I can get some callers on here, man. I know it's only four of y'all, but come on, man. Hey yo, what happened to my boy that was on here? Oh shit. Alright. I got your call in just a second, baby. Hold up. Thank you for calling Andrew 26101. Shell state your name, player or player. 
What's up, Daryl? Speak to me, man. Hey, I'm doing good. How you been? Man, I'm good, man. I'm quarantined, man. Quarantine. <laughs> so am I. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't shit, man. Just quarantine. Yeah, you good? Yeah, I'm good. My bad. I'm sorry. It's cut off. Oh, all right, all right, all right. You, you were saying something about uh, <laughs> she had you at first, but what? <laughs> yeah, she had me in the first half. Boy, <laughs> oh my god. Because I looked at this because she looked really upset. And that's so I'm like, what is she crying about? And then she was talking about getting a train rent. I'm like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You know what? All right. Yeah. You know what makes it worse? All right. That's true. I hope this chick ain't married because I don't know, but I'm looking at the left hand and I see a ring in that middle figure. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm, I'm telling you, bro. I, something about it. I, I Listen, man. I never trust. A plastic face and a smile, baby. Yeah, you can't. I can't trust. I can't trust a plastic face. Is 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 it my? Is, am I the bad person that that says that? Listen, I I don't trust you. You got everything fake on you. I need to see your real face. <laughs> Get rid of your lips. <laughs> put them back. Put them back together. I need your. I need something. Authenticity. I need something with originality. What happened to the hair? Oh my god, you're you, killing You you're got killing Mr. Me. Potato Head plastic lips. Get rid of that, you want the originality. Oh my god. You are killing me. You are killing me. Funny man, I don't know Exactly. Hey, I think she did it for the Panda Express. <laughs> <laughs> I think she was hungry. <laughs> she was hungry. <laughs> Alright man. Let's 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 watch this one more time, man. This this is crazy. Those of y'all who are just getting on here. This is crazy, man. This is why I, now you see why I laugh, right? You see you, Yeah, I see why you laugh. And I'm learning more from you because like since like I'm young, I can take it that knowledge for myself. Dog. So I can know about like the whole life situation and whatnot. Cause it has been yeah. like shit like this. I have witnessed myself. I see this happen. <laughs> Whereas females, they would, they would use their emotions to sway the public. Yes. Amen. And get them a feel, get them a feel in a certain type of ways. I have seen this Duh. with my own two eyes. And that's so at first, I didn't really understand. Mm. You know, it's, I, I got a, a little bit older. So I see that you... I see what you mean. Yeah, I see what you're learning from. So let me ask you something. Remember last time we talked about that one chick? 
I remember that yeah. story. That story. So, so what happened with her? You, you kind of just eh, let that sit, let it go. No, I, no, I already let it go. She cool. Oh. oh, okay. So you, you straight with her. All right. Well, that's cool. That's cool. Yeah. That's cool. That's cool. But listen, man. Like with this chick right here, man. Yeah. It's like she tried to sell you a broken dream off of some emotions. Yes. So it's like, how you get mad at something that you participated in? Yeah, it's not like, it's not like she was forced. You weren't forced to do it. I can understand she was forced to do it, then that would make more sense. I can understand that. But what I don't understand is that you making a scene, you put on like, you put on like, you know, this fake impression of, oh, he hurt me. Well, she didn't necessarily said that uh, he did anything. I mean, he just said that they ran trans on her, trained on her. It's not like he 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 didn't do anything foul. Like I guess, you know, rape her or did anything to that extent to where it was like, oh shit, okay, well, that's kind of fucked up. But it just sounded to me that it was just consensual sex, and like I said, maybe she got the Arr, Captain Eye drop. <laughs> oh, maybe she got the whoosh, the the wish washer. You know when you pull off the wig and shit, you hit that shit, dog. Oh my god! Or you just—I don't know. Maybe she got the handprint on the ass. Something must have happened to where she just pissed off right now, and that's why. Maybe somebody did something like kind of like oh, took her video and put it out viral. I'm thinking, watch. You see this chick right here? I I, I guarantee you right now, bro. You ain't gonna see the last of her. For some reason, I think this chick is going to come out with a second video, and the video is going to be on some crazy shit. Mm, what, do you, what, do you, what do you mean by that? I don't know, man. I just think there's a plot and twist to this, man. Oh. Uh, I, 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 I won't be surprised. It just doesn't make any sense, man. It's like... I don't know, man. Let, let, let's, let's just play this video again, man. So that, that way, we, you know, the new viewers and people that's on here can get a better understanding, man. We watch this again one more time, man. This... This is just crazy. Right. I already have to deal with that for the rest of my life that I got trained. I already know that. You guys making it seem like that I don't know that, that it, that, that it didn't happen. I can't change that. I can't do nothing. So why are you guys going to sit there and keep on bringing that up? That's what I want to know. Okay, she sounds like she wants to forget about the situation. That's why she's upset. She wants everybody to forget about it. But what if they got, what if they got all recorded of that shit? You know what I'm saying? They probably got it in their Before phone. Because no you know these these chicks love to record themselves, do everything, bro. Mm -hmm. even, even things they're not supposed to be recording about. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But that's okay, though. She's young. But come on, man. Yeah. Come on, man. We, we, bro. We know for a fact that, that this chick definitely participated in some extracurriculum activities, but she doesn't want to admit it. She wants to make it seem like she was forced to do it. You know what I'm saying? It, I don't know. That's what kind of disgusts me the most because nowadays it's like for men, if you do do things like this with certain type of women, you got to be careful, man. You got you to gotta be careful these days, man, because it's like certain words that females could say could get your ass in trouble. And you, then you get locked up over some shit that was consensual. You know what I'm saying? Well, top of it, on top of it, if you got money and assets, boom, it's over for you. It's a, it's a, it's it's a, it's a done deal. She taking everything. Mm -hmm. She gonna get you for emotional distress. She gonna get you for public endangerment. She gonna get you for public exposure. She gonna, man, she, she just gonna... It's the same thing that happened to... Uh, it kind of reminds me of... Uh, what's, what's his name? Kevin Hart? How he was getting extorted, man. This shit, real, bro. All right, but I'm gonna continue playing this. Hold on. Why are you guys gonna sit there and keep on bringing that up like that's a joke? Like if that's funny, like you guys think that's funny for a whole female to get trained? You guys think that's funny? Still hurt over the fact that my ex boyfriend will never understand how bad he hurt me. And literally, like, you guys don't understand who I am really inside. This shit hurts. Like, I sat there, dog, and like, I went and I like 
I did. I delete like <laughs> I don't know. Okay, I got trained and what? And what? And what? Well, you think that's gonna hurt me? Oh my god, look, I'm crying. Oh my god, I'm crying. And you know what? And they loved it too. They love this fucking pussy. Ooh. They love this pussy that they fucking sparked me up and bought me food right after. You wow. So she's bragging about some pussy that some dudes like and they bought her food after. What do you think about that, man? Well, she got that Panda Express, bro. That shit is crazy, man. That that that's that's the most. Man, she looks like an afterthought. <laughs> just, just think of the word afterthought. <laughs> <laughs> How bad he hurt me <laughs> After thought <laughs> Thought 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 thought, thought. <laughs> that up, Like that's a joke Like if that's fu Yo, how many rings does this bitch got, bro? She's got one X, X, X Is that how many X's she's went through? <laughs> and then she got some Cuba Sicordia on the left Okay, that's probably not real Alright, I'll give you a pass, though But man, she's she want an ugly chick, bro. I don't, I don't know why men choose, choose to even, Lord. Look at this hair, boy. Look over here, boy. Look at this. How, how, look how her screwed up. Look, look at this high cheekbone ass. Look at this. Oh my God. She got that, she got that self, uh, what's that motherfucker's name? Wesley Snipes looking jaw. <laughs> Oh shoot, she's strong arming, boy. Funny? Like you guys think that's funny for a whole female? <laughs> no, to get trained? You guys think that's funny? Still hurt over the fact that my ex-boyfriend will never understand how bad he hurt me. And literally, like you guys don't understand who I am really inside. This shit hurts. Like I said See, I felt sorry for her because I thought she was actually crying, but then I'm starting to look and I don't see no tears. Does this look like a person that's crying? No, it sounds like more, sounds more whining to me. <laughs> it sounds like she reading something. Like she's looking over here and she's smiling like she got to have something plastic on her face, bro. Like something about her face just don't seem right. That there like, is she young or is she old? I'm, I'm confused. Well, my opinion, like, she looks, she looks, uh, I can't say she's old, she don't look old to me, probably, huh, like, I, I would say young. I mean, yeah, she looks young, but, I mean, I don't know, she just strong army, man, like, I don't know, like, them, 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 them jaw bones, man, it's something about, maybe she got too much makeup on or something, I don't know. I think that's what it is, a lot of females wear a whole lot of makeup, it's not even funny. Yeah, that's just too much makeup, man. It's like, damn, that's too much. They be, they be hiding their true face, man. It's like, damn, they got makeup on makeup on makeup on makeup on makeup. Like, what the fuck? Come it's on. Crazy, that's how they skin break out. They put all that product on your freaking face. Yeah, man, that's just too much, man. I don't like all that, man. Just a little bit of light of makeup, ladies, man. You don't need that much, man. That shit's crazy. That shit is too much, man. Next minute you wake up next to her, you see all her makeup on the pillow sheets and shit. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be like, what the hell is what, this? What the hell is this? You see a piece of hair on the bed. <laughs> I'll be like, you're not real, you're fake. <laughs> she gonna go in the bathroom and wash her hair. <laughs> oh, shit. My fault, my fault, I'll keep it down. Sorry about that. Shit, my lady's in another room, man. She tripping. But yeah, man, this this is just crazy, bro. I got you, I got you. Alright. <laughs> my bad, man. We gotta keep it down, man. She trying to get some sick. She got work in the morning. She ain't quarantining, but I'm quarantining, you feel me? But anyways, man. This is crazy, bro. I got you. Yeah, but she better wear them damn gloves and get them sterilizers, though. She ain't, her ass ain't coming back in this island. She get that shit. Anyways. Dog, and like I went and I like I did I delete like I don't know. Okay, I got trained and what? 
And what? And what? What, you think that's gonna hurt me? Oh my God, look, I'm crying. Oh my God, I'm crying. And you know what? And they loved it too. They love this fucking pussy. Wow. They love this pussy that they fucking sparked me up and bought me food right after. You See, she's all proud about getting food after. That That's the whole funny part. It's like, damn, so I guess your pussy's worth food? Yeah. But in the second video, you taking pride for what you've done. Yeah, that's kind of like, crazy. That's that don't what you know. I, I fucking give up. That that's some bullshit. Right? I mean. I I don't really give up. I just think it's funny as fuck. Yes, <laughs> I just laugh because it's like, all right. The reason why I kind of laugh though is the fact that it's like I could understand why they upset, and I think they got up. I think she got upset because she got caught. Because if you look at it right. Why would she get mad at her ex-boyfriend for participating in something that she knew she was doing? So the only reason why she got mad is because she got caught. Yeah. I mean, why would you get mad? Oh, hey, were you, you took advantage of me. Advantage of you for what? Unless she got caught and somebody found out. That's what it is. She must have got like videotapes out there or some shit, bro. That's what it is. She got caught. Some probably some dude put her on blast with the videotapes. So now it's like she's mad at her ex boyfriend, man. That could be a possibility. I mean, if that's the case in that scenario, would you give her a pass? I mean, no, not really. And the reason and the reason why I say this okay. is because if you think about it, you're you're in control of your actions no matter what nobody else tells you, correct? Mm-hmm. Now, given the fact she let this dude run the train on her, right? Yeah. It, you can't, you can't feel like upset all because you got caught. At the end of the day, it is what it is. You got caught. You just, you just, just like accept it. Mm. Like, but like, but also my thing is, I think also she was trying to hide it. And eventually it got caught up with her. That's yeah. probably why she also did that too. I mean, if you look at it, man, I totally agree. I think she's mad because she got caught. And that's all it is. Mm -hmm. Because let's just say if it was a different scenario and uh -huh. she didn't get caught, would she uh -huh. do this video? And in emotional anger, <laughs> just think about it. It's like it would be underground. The video got out, yeah. man. That's all it is. And now everybody knows her as a neighborhood thought. <laughs> and I guess yeah. it is what it is. Like, you can't force, like, listen, man. And I want to say this to ladies real quick, too, man. On some real shit. If you participate in anything, that's involved with anything and it's not against your consent and you want to do it and you allow it to happen you can't you can't do that because that's not right because you yeah, participate part, that's not right uh, now nah, go ahead, yeah, go ahead. On top of, my bad um on top of that you as an adult you're accountable for your own actions yeah. Like, come on now. I mean, we're all adults here. She doesn't want to be held accountable. You want to hear something? What's up? Amber Rose, a while back, was on a talk yeah. show. Amber Rose. And you know Amber Rose, she's uh, very much, uh, I guess, women's liberal, like, I guess, women's feminist movement or whatever. They do, like, a little feminist thing. Women. It, it, she's, yeah. like, part of a, the Me Too movement, I think that's what it is. Like, some sort of Me Too movement. So, she was on a talk show. So, this guy said to her, I forgot who the talk show was, I can't remember, but the guy was saying, if you get in bed with a guy, and y'all naked, and then y'all about to have sex, 
and then you tell him to stop but then he doesn't stop but then you continue to do it with him anyways but that's your man though that's it's not like it was a stranger that's your man but you tell him to stop she says and he doesn't stop he's a rapist or she says this she says if I'm in the bed naked and I'm walking next to you and you want to have sex and I say no she says that's automatically considered as an attempted rape She says, if she's naked in bed with you and she says no, and you try to do it anyway, she said that's considered rape. You in the bed, first of all, why are you in the bed naked with her in the first place? So in other words, she's telling you straight up, if she's in the bed with you naked, and she says no to you, and you even try to move on her. She and she says that's automatic rape. That's crazy, man. When she said that, I'm not gonna lie to you. That shit scared me, bro. That shit scared me, bro. I was like, wow. That made me look at. Women totally different. I'm like, shit, I ain't talking to none of you, baby. <laughs> like, I can't. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I said, no. I said, no, I can't be with you, girl. I started going to, I started singing like I was back in the Temptations. Like, I can't be with you, girl. <laughs> Really? Oh my God. <laughs> I'm like, she be like, how old are you? I'm like, I'm 62, baby. <laughs> Scare her ass away from me. <laughs> oh shit. It's crazy, man. What a world we live in, bro. Yeah. So what do you gotta say about that, man? Like, what I gotta say about that is like. That's kind of really messed up because that's actually setting them being up for failure automatically. Like, because it's funny, like, when it comes to, like, sexual, like, like, you know, like, sexual, like, like, basically, like, sexual contact. Yeah. It's like, when it comes, when it comes to females, it's like, uh, for contact, like, whatever happens, you know, if it has behind closed doors, it happens, but it's like if they get caught, it's like they put the blame from themselves and they put it towards the man. And basically, they be like, well, oh, well, he did this to me, but you, you let it happen. Like, you got, you got with him in the bed and you <laughs> let it happen. Like, but it's like, oh, when, it's, it's like what they do is to make, to make themselves feel better is they take the, t- they take the attention away from, from them and then they, they basically mix up words and then they put on the man. So well, guess what? I'm not going to put on the things I did wrong, but I'm definitely going to make sure that this man get everything that's coming to him when it comes to what he did. Mm. Yeah. And that's what I have been noticing so far. That, and you know what? On some real shit, I be saying that to a lot of dudes. All I tell dude is just, just, just be careful, man. Just be careful because I almost got caught in some shit just for being nice. You know what I'm saying? And I wasn't even like, I wasn't even doing the past, bro. I wasn't even doing the past. It was like one of the day. I was like a job I was working at. And... It was a manager. I think it was like the Hilton or some shit like that. I was working at one of those jobs. So it was a manager that was in front of one room. And then the chick had her own office in the other room. So she walked past me. And this is the time I was like a bellman or something like that, right? So the chick walked past me. And she was. I was like, I looked at her. I was like, man, you look real nice today. I like that dress you got on. It looks nice on you. 
And she's like, oh, thank you. You know, uh, that's so sweet. I was like, yeah, no problem. You have a wonderful day. You know, I was being nice and shit. And she was a beautiful, mm-hmm. beautiful woman, right? This okay, chick. Makes sense. Yeah. This chick, right, manager says, Andrew, come here. I'm like, fuck. <laughs> I felt like I was like, back. I'm like, nigga. I feel like I was back in high school or back in school again. So I'm like, looking at the sky. I'm like, oh, shit. I'm like, what the fuck did I do now? Like, what the fuck she gonna tell me? You know what I'm saying? So I go down. I sit down in the office, man. This chick is like, Andrew, I gotta have a talk with you. I'm like, really? And she look good, too. She's sexy as a motherfucker, too. But she's the boss. So I, I go try to talk to her like that. But she was a bad little, yo, she was a bad, sexy little Indian chick, bro. And she was a manager. So, chick was like, yo, you, you can't be telling women that they're beautiful like that. I said, what? What you mean? You can't be telling women that they're beautiful. I'm looking at her like, I'm like, what? I'm giving her a compliment. Well, this is the times when Me Too Act was just getting involved. This is when they just passed the the uh, the no look rule. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if you if you go to if you look in retail and shit. There's like a class, a separate class for like sexual harassment, and then they have that Me Too shit that's in there, and it says. You, you can't look at a woman for like five seconds or ten seconds and shit. And it's like, you got to look down like this. You got to go like this for a quarter second and then move your head. You know what I mean? Like, I was like, I was like we need instruction manuals on how to communicate with women now. Just think about it. So that's what we're doing now? That's what we're doing now. Women, they treating y'all like y'all, like y'all robots. Y'all, y'all come with manuals. And y'all don't even see, like, that's the agenda that I talk about, bro. They don't they don't even see that they being pimped out. Which it makes no sense. It's easy because they don't they don't want reproduction. Just think about it. If you can emotionally drive women away from families and marriage and long-term committed relationship, if you can turn women away from that, guess what? You have a destruction for you have a destruction culture of female species, always getting babies and never can seem to get married, or never can seem to have a family structure, or never can seem to have that man in their life. Have you noticed that? You heard? Oh, you was probably in and out. Did you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. I'm saying, like, what you say after, after that part? Because I heard, I heard what you said. Did you, did you just say it like a sentence? Nah, I, w- I was just basically saying that. Damn, you made me forget. Good God, man. I got to go back to what I was saying. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even forget, man. Like, I, I, I said a whole lot of shit. But damn, I wish you would have heard that. But basically, it's like, Everything is driven from emotions. Everything is driven from emotions. So it's it's nothing that's full, solid, concrete. She's just emotionally driven. And that's understandable. That's understandable. You know what I'm saying? Because a woman has a right to be emotionally pissed off and emotionally mad and cry. You know what I'm saying? That's what they do. So it's like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because even you said that women are emotional are emotional creatures. You've been saying that throughout your video, so yeah, I understand what you're talking about. Yeah, and I even say that we we are um, they would say that uh, I want to say what, what they say we say they say that we don't listen or we just we don't give a fuck. <laughs> I always get that word for women. Uh, women, women always say y'all niggas uh, don't give a fuck. <laughs> I said, listen, it's not that we don't give a fuck. It's just that we, yeah, we kind of don't give a fuck. (laughs) (laughs) Tell me it's true. I was just keeping it real, man. But at the end of the day, ladies, it's all about, listen, you got to respect yourselves, man. 
you respect yourselves, most men are going to respect you. Point blank, period. You, yeah. co- you come at a man correctly, they're going to come at you correctly. Uh-huh. For the most part. You know what I'm saying? For the most part. Yeah, for the most part. Yeah, yeah. But it's just, you can't blame yourself for getting into a train. <laughs> I, just, I don't get that. Yeah, yeah, I don't get it either. And the crazy part, like she said it would cry in the second video. I just think it was like, hilarious. She had, she had like no fuck. She was like, "Yeah, I let him do it, but you just crying like, but you come out here with pride? I'll be damned." <laughs> I just think it's hilarious, man. She wanted Panda Express. That's all. <laughs> she wanted her food. Panda Express. She said, I did it for the food. She do about I suck his dick. I ate his ass with some Doritos. And I got some Panda Express. Come on, man. So what you gotta say about that, man? Like, what you gotta say about whole thing? Like this whole thing? Shoot, man. Should be alright. Where do I begin? She'll be fine. Yeah, she'll be alright. You be alright, baby girl. So, anything else yeah. you want to say before I go ahead and wrap this up, man? Call of the night. Uh, nah. Right. I do, I do appreciate you on the show and whatnot. I really appreciate it. Yeah, man. And, uh, you know. Hey, man. Sports, man. Let me tell you something, man. I really I, do. I appreciate y'all for tuning in, bro. Cause yeah. without y'all, I wouldn't be up this late. So I appreciate you guys. So. From this day forward to 2020, we just we just doing some videos that everybody wanted me to do. So, a lot of people was hitting me up. They wanted me to do this. They wanted me to get back into the relationship and the talking about the women part. You know what I'm saying? And I, I'm gonna do that too. But I, I I get I get the you know what I'm saying? I get the simp niggas too. We gotta get the simps. <laughs> we get after the simps too. <laughs> we gotta get after them simps, man. You gotta get after them six. Yeah, man. You know, you know. Here, here's the thing, man. Here's what I think about certain things, bro. Like, I always say, man, dudes, guys, man, y'all just gotta just be mentally strong, bro. You just gotta be mentally strong, and don't uh-huh. don't let women di- dictate what type of man you should be, man. Just just be you. Just do you. Be who you are, uh-huh. man. You naturally will attract women to you, man, when you just focus on yourself, bro. Mm-hmm. And you don't give a fuck, but... Anyways, you got you got any last things you want to say, man, before we go ahead and sign off, man? No, but I will say, like, you know, thank you very much for having me on the show. I support you. I hope you're great. You're great views for the rest of the year and whatnot. Appreciate and it, I man. Hope, like, you, and also, I hope that you be safe due to this freaking fucking epic that pandemic yeah. got going on. <laughs> man, it's deep. It's deeper than everything, man. Every everybody's all fucked up in this shit, man. It's it's crazy, but we gonna be all right, man. I appreciate it too, man. I, I appreciate you know all y'all being in tune, and also you, man. You be safe, man. Uh, hey, how's the ROTC? I mean, how's the army thing? Aren't you in the military or something like that? Last time we talked. Yeah, National Guard. National Guard. How's that going on? You you good? Okay, okay. Yo, shout out to the men and women out there that serve this beautiful country, man. Shout out to y'all, man, all day. I know you guys are definitely at it at hard work, man. Subscribe to the channel. Pass my videos around, man. You know what I'm saying? God bless everybody out there, man. Hopefully this pandemic, uh, you know, will soon go away and people will stop bullshitting on the news and let the doctors do their work and let them talk. You know, I always say this, man. I want to talk to the doctors. I'm tired of hearing the news, people. Because usually the doctors are going to want... Those are the ones that's going to be the ones to tell you the truth. And when I did some research, man, the doctors are like, Listen, man, don't listen to the fucking news, man. We got it under control. You know what I'm saying? We we, we got this shit, man. But we'll be all right, man. We'll be all right. Yeah. So any... any la- Yeah, man. We just, we just got to be positive, man. We got to put positive energy into the universe, man. I mean, yeah, especially for the bad times and whatnot. 2020 hasn't been a good year for us, man, but we got to find that positivity, man. Every day we wake up, man, the sun shines, man. The sun
sun shines. We count our blessings while we're on this earth. Count our blessings, man. Because a lot of people don't make it. They really don't. And like we as people, we kind of take it for granted. Like sometimes, not saying everybody, but you know, some people take it for granted. Yeah. Well, listen. Oh, so, I, go, go ahead, go ahead, bro. Go ahead, brother. Oh, um, I was about to say also, you know, I hope like people take, you know, like the virus, you know, a little bit. Uh. Like, seriously, not to like panic, but like, you know how people are. Like, you know, people like be joking about like the virus and whatnot. But I don't have a problem with it, but you know, a lot of people keep taking it seriously. But I don't know, I don't know if you watch the news, but people been like, been like using like the virus. I mean, yeah, I put a little something on there too, man. It's 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 deep, man. It's deep, but we gotta we have to save that. I put that on my last video, man. I kind of talked about what I felt at the time, the information that I got, and it's like, hmm, it kind of seems kind of close to reality. But let's just hope that you know some parts are true and some parts are false for the human sake of this sanity place we call planet Earth, man. But hey, man, everybody. Y'all be safe out there, man. Y'all have a good night. I'm signing off. And we out. All right, I'm out. Yeah. Hey, man. Yeah, man.